I have some questions. Some serious, serious questions. And I'm like, come on, fruit cook, yeah. I want to put my soapbox, that's basically Let's talk about drag and all its forms. Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on the video. This is my review for Love and Hip Hop Hollywood Season 4, Episode 2. As I said, I have some questions. I have some concerns. I just need to know what's going on. Right in the beginning, A1, Ray J, Safari. Somebody want to tell me why it is these three freaks have gotten together and are all sitting around figuring out a reason, then picking out a date to all meet up and play with their doohickeys. Hmm. Anyway, I, the, that A1, I, I don't know why he's even being involved, but never mind. I'm not even going to incriminate myself. <laughs> Let's move on. But I just, I, I was just a sperm competition. And then, <laughs> why are they fucking with Hazel? <laughs> why? Are they fucking with Hazel Lee? What did Hazel do? They're like any we're they're going to go check their sperm counts as a competition. And the person with the lowest sperm count is going to be stuck with ugly ass Hazel E and have to go in and work with her talentless ass. I said, oh y'all are rude, honey. Rude, rude, rude. This whole episode they clowned Hazel E. Now, I was in my travels and I ain't even going to do a whole extra video, but Hazel was mad about that shit. Hazel done seen that shit and that bitch done called them and you know what in a nice array of, of words bunch of fags, honey. <laughs> she didn't call them something. They doing a circle jerk and this, that, and the other. I said, oh, Miss Hazel. They did read you, bitch, but whatever. I said, oh, they, they shady. Anyway, Let's move on. Now, some shit that just didn't sit real well with me at all. We had a little scene with Booby, the boob, and Brooke. And um, they, they let us know that they were friends from back in the day when they were both in Chicago and this whole kind of thing. I don't trust them motherfuckers. I don't trust Baby, and I don't trust that motherfucking Brooke. They look like they've been playing in each other's puddle before back in Chicago. I don't trust it. And then did you catch that little shit that Brooke said, well, if I wanted a man, I want a man just like Baby. Really, bitch? Why couldn't you have Baby? Because Keisha had him? Bitch, I don't trust you. And Baby, I don't trust you. I think there's some shit that done went down and I think some more shit's going to go down. I'll be keeping my motherfucking eye on them two bastards. Sure will. Mm-hmm. Moving on. The fuck. Next, we got that damn Zell. Mia. I don't know why that bitch is still on this show. I told her dad nine times in nine different videos to come get his fucking daughter and take that bitch on home, but he just ain't listening. Anyway, we got A.D., Moniz, and Masika. They all down on the beach. Child, Masika, 
I'm sick of my knees and AD playing house. Mm hmm. Sit around playing house with um old boy's little son. Anyway, another video for another time. Um, and I start to see a pattern with Masika. Masika ain't here for the bullshit. She refused to even be in a scene where they're talking about Alexis Sky. And she keeps saying, I'm not giving that bitch any shine. That bitch will not get any screen time at my expense. It's not going to fucking happen. She got up and walked out of the scene. She most certainly did. And I kind of laughed. I was like, oh, okay. Walked on out. Now, the thing is, they start telling the story. They were saying, you know, this one don't like her for this. That one don't like her for that. That one don't care for her. She fucked everybody's man. So, now, Masika, we're bitch. I, I'm feeling you, bitch, where you're giving. Bitch, you're not going to ride my coattail. I, that's, I got you, bitch. But you have to remember, bitch, you are the one that did all this thotting. You were a hot mess, bitch. You were fucking a mile a minute, bitch. And you were hitting all the houses in the, in the neighborhood. So, you know, you really can't be but so angry because you were the one with the hot pussy in this situation. So, whatever. Anyway, so that was going on. I said, mm, keep my eye on that. That was kind of strange. Next, we got that Brooke together with that damn Marcus. He brings her these divorce papers. But in her mind, she's still questionable. You can see her wheel spinning. Something just ain't sitting right to her. And when something ain't sitting right, bitch, you're probably right. But what shouldn't be sitting right with you, bitch, is what's going on with you and baby. The boob. Moving on. Next, we see Keisha sitting down with two shorts. I ain't seen his short sawed off ass in a long time, but he just laughed at her motherfucking ass. And he was laughing at her situation with Booby and their living arrangement. But really, I think him and that girl was actually laughing at Keisha's hair and just wasn't saying it. Baby, I said, Keisha, what are you doing? Your hair, Keisha. Your hair, bitch, not what you bought. Your hair is clearly a number two. Your weave is clearly a one. If you don't look ridiculous with this old, terrible goddamn kitchen table hairdo shit going on, what are you, what are you shooting for? You think you're going to get an Emmy for the most fucked up hair on the Love & Hip Hop franchise? Horrible. All that shit. We talked about the wigs and shit last week. How you getting swallowed up, girl? She looked like Ariel in that goddamn confessional. And she looked like a damn beauty school dropout. And th this shit ain't hit or miss. It's just miss, 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 miss. Keisha, what are you doing, honey? Horrible. Horrible. I, I, she better get that together. I can't take this. This is a mess. Now, I'm going to tell you a little bit of advice. Bitch, the baddest that you ever was was platinum. Bitch, go be platinum. Ball headed and platinum, bitch. I'm I'm here for it. Mm hmm Yeah, get to it, bitch, because you're here but a mess. Two episodes, and I'm sick of it already. Moving on. Go on over to the fertility clinic. So they get over to the clinic. The boys them that met there for their shaking day, honey. And A1 them brought Lyrica with him. He done lured her in and brought her on down to the clinic so she could shake his stick for him, Manny. I said, oh, isn't that interesting? And she was like, what the hell's going on? I'm telling everybody. I'm like, girl, don't tell them that, honey. They not, don't tell nobody that your man is meeting with two other men to shake their sticks, bitch, because your man got blonde dreads, black fingernail polish, and hips. <laughs> ah, bitch, don't do it. You ain't gonna do it but embarrass yourself. <laughs> yes, God. Moving on. Zell and Alexis Sky. They done met up. See that Zell? I told y'all. <laughs> that little motherfucker need watching. Now he done went and made up with Alexis Sky. Now he gonna set up Masika. I said, Oh, I see you. You can already set up your so called girlfriend. 
You already know cause she bitch. She already told your funny looking ass that she wasn't doing no sayings when she gonna talk about her. But you ain't listening, motherfucker. You're not listening. You being messy with that hairdo. And again, now this time you done ran down and got yourself another bag. Yet another, another bag of number 33 Cadecalon, honey. And then gave yourself five little blonde braids, honey. And you look ridiculous. I said, child, if they don't come and get Pippi Longstocking out of here, honey, a mess. Mess! Anyway, does all that Alexis Skies and her confessional laughing at you, bitch. And said, I knew he was a messy queen, but as long as he delivers Masika to me, me and him could be friends. Mm -hmm. I said, oh, Alexis, you a mess, honey, with that old lopsided ass. Did you see her ass? Ugly. Pretty girl, fucked up ass. I don't know why they think them porta, porta potty asses are cute. They're not. Them asses don't look good. They look like you've been sitting on the toilet for 20 days. Porta potty ass. Anyway, moving on. Next, we done met two new characters, child. Chanel West Coast. She's a rapper. <laughs> this bitch. <laughs> She's loving Hip Hop Hollywood's version of, um, what's that bitch? Bianca? Her name, no, Bianca. What is that bitch's name? What is her name? I want your money. I want you. You know that bitch. That I used to be a hoe bitch. Whatever her name is. That the white girl from Love and Hip Hop New York. Well, West, the Chanel West Coast is their version over here in Hollywood. Bitch ain't got no belt. That bitch is built straight up and down. I said, girl. What is that shape, honey? And then, you know, with that shit she had on, girl, bye. Standing up there next to Nikki, baby. You look ridiculous. Anyway, Nikki said she was going to introduce her to somebody. Safari. She introduced her to Safari. Honey, so he could help her with her music and stick that dick in her, honey. Because that's what's going to happen. Good for her. Anyway, moving on. The other character is this Jade. Not such a cute girl. But she's a problem. She was feeling some kind of way because she used to date Rich Dollars, but Moniece came along and took Rich off of her. I said, okay, Moniece. And so now she's actually messing around with, wouldn't you know it, Brooke's boyfriend, Marcus. And she's his paralegal. She's the one that's doing his divorce. See what I mean? When your first man tell you something ain't right, bitch, it ain't. And that Marcus, his bald-headed ass mammy knew he wasn't right. Bald-headed mammy that probably knew that he was fucking that damn paralegal, too. And we thought she was nice. She wasn't nice. She was a slick, bald-headed, secret-holding bitch, honey. I said, oh! You don't want her for a mother-in-law, honey. She's a mess, and so's her son. Get on out of here. Moving on. I can't wait till she figure all this shit here out. So, next, we end up Lyrica and Nia and Brooke were all at a little uh, dance class. Child, they can't dance like none of them, honey. Little dance class. And they sat down, baby, and she took and Lyrica dished her all the tea and showed her a picture of Miss Jade, honey. And then told her, you know, she's probably going to be at Safari's event. And they were going to give her very much of, and so will we, honey. I said, oh, so that's going to be next week. We're going to see where that little ambush takes place. Uh, so let's talk about this last little piece. Oh, stinking ass Pippi Longstocker and that damn Zell that met up with Masika. Tried to pull it, baby. He was stuttering and stammering. I said, what is wrong with this motherfucker? And he finally gets out that he was trying to talk about Alexis Sky. Baby, that Masika went the fuck off. She went off on him. She went off on production. Told him, come and get this mic off me. I told you all, I'm not entertaining that bitch. 
I don't give a goddamn what you say. And I'm going to get my lawyer. I said, what is going on with these love and hip hop stars? Honey, they are not sticking to the script. And they are just snapping out and going off on production. Child, we're seeing it all the way across. Mona, you better get a hold on these motherfuckers. They getting out of hand. I said, Lord, Masika was leaving. Honey, and Azale loves to read, honey. He was talking to Masika, and then Masika snapped right out on. She gonna say, fuck you, motherfucker. You're not my motherfucker friend. We're not friends, bitch. You trying to do something for some fame, bitch. You trying to get some camera time, but you're not gonna get camera time on me either. You understand? It's not gonna happen with your trick ass. I said, oh. Baby, she read him for filth. She read him for Filth. She showed just how thirsty he was, honey, for filth. But he turned around and gave that bitch, well, fuck you, bitch. And look at your dirty ass heels, honey. I said, oh! <laughs> they flashed out on the camera, honey. And she walked with some sandals on, honey, and her heels look like this, honey. I said, oh, bitch, he got you, bitch. That was some dirty motherfucking people with that camera, honey, to film her hair. Her heels was that some, oh, her, <laughs> her heels got so black, honey. So what was going on? Cute sandal, but I need to know what she was doing to got that heel so black. Oh man. Said, bitch, was you putting out cigarettes and cigars on your motherfucking heel, bitch? Ridiculous. Anyway, but that was that. She was walking on down the street last I seen her. Said, fuck y'all, honey. Said I ain't filming with that bitch. And I ain't talking about that bitch. Went on down the street. I said, well, I'll be a motherfucker. Go on, Masika. All that shit you just started. And now you pulling and pulling the punches and you calling the shots. Don't fuck around a moment of fire. You're moving on. Um, last thing. I thought that was the last thing, but I almost forgot about the nasty boys that was doing a circle jerk. Okay, so this, this is how it came out, honey. <sighs> Can you believe it? A1 had the best dick. Safari had some pretty good dick. And Ray J had some old hide up ass delinquent dick, honey. Mess. Child, the doctor told him, you have to stop getting high. And maybe I can give you some pills or something. I need to revive yourself, honey. Child, y'all see, y'all say it, honey. Kim broke it, honey. She broke it. Princess, now you're going to have to fix it. Old broke hide up dick. Who needs it? Anyway, moving on. I'll see y'all next week, honey. Loving it, Pop Hollywood. It is very it really is this eventful. These folks on Hollywood are a mess, child. I'll talk to y'all next week. Later.